welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is March 6th and it is 10, 12 a.m. And today I just didn't go to school. I just didn't go. If you didn't know, I'm a junior in high school and lately I've been jam-packed with work like I've never been before. Let me tell ya. I'm not, I'm not loving it. So in conclusion, a lot of these like stay at home and chillaxing days are starting to become more consistent. So instead of being lazy, like a normal self care day would be for me, we're gonna be productive. I have so much to do and so much planned for today. And I already got quite a bit done considering it's already 10. I woke up this morning at 8.30 and then I went ahead and did some journaling to get my thoughts on paper, which is always good for you. And then I made my bed, which is new for me. I did some skincare, I did a load of dishes, I put my cats, and then I got ready and now I'm here. And if you can't tell, I need my nails done so badly. So that's first on the list. I swear in vlogs like this, I always get my nails done, but they're always so freaking needed and they're starting to like hurt. Like and they're falling off and they're throbbing. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then I think I'm gonna treat myself because I deserve it. Here's my outfit of the day. It's super simple. I'm just wearing a Lululemon scuba and some brandy sweats. We're gonna get going. Let's go. sunny but yeah freezing today has been such a good day like it is sunny out i got my chai and oh my gosh is it good this is a spiced chai with hemp milk and it's iced from gourmet latte and if you live near gourmet latte please i and i mean please try this it's literally so good it's actually so good if gourmet latte had one fan it would be me and if gourmet latte had zero fans i would be dead So welcome to Cooking with Ava. Where cooking gets kind of chaotic. But I'm currently home alone, so I decided why not, why not make myself make a fun little, little salad. salad. You know, taking care of myself. Cause that's what today's all about. So on the menu for today is a Mediterranean style quinoa salad. Except I'm like not following a recipe. I'm totally just like, Totally not following the recipe. I'm literally just like winging it and kind of making my own. All I know is I want quinoa in it and chickpeas. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think I'm gonna make a cilantro lime dressing. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. I also don't really know how to cook quinoa. I'm just like letting it do its thing for 15 minutes. In the blender, we are going to add a handful of cilantro. Don't really know how much this is. Cilantro by itself to me tastes like soap, but when it's like with other things, like a dressing, or like as a garnish with other like soups or something, it's really good. So I think this is gonna be really good. And then we're gonna do like probably an eighth of a cup of lime juice. We got our lime juice. Right? More for good measure. And then what I learned from my mom is whenever you're making a dressing, you always want to add honey. So I'm going to take her word for that. I couldn't find the honey, but I'll find it. And I'm also going to do a little bit of garlic. I don't really feel like doing fresh garlic. We'll do some salt, some pepper, and then some olive oil. That is a lot. But you know what? I really want to find the honey. I just literally don't know where it is. I found the honey. I'm going to do like a teaspoon. Okay, we're calling that. We're calling that goody two shoes. Good. Okay. I'm gonna consider this done. How do I like strain it? Is the question. Because if you pour it in here, obviously the, all the king was just gonna go through that. Wow, look at Ava. She's so smart. 
Mmm, it smells like rice. Alexa, stop. Ready? Taste test. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna chop some cucumber because I think this is gonna go fire in the salad if I can get it open. It is a little bit later in the day and we're gonna clean my room. I always procrastinate this till as late as I can. I just have to get it done today because I know it's gonna make me feel better and start off my week strong because I'm gonna try to go to school tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys a little overview of what my room looks like right now. Um, walk in, I can't even, and then this is my nightstand right now. <laughs> Bro, this is my dresser like I just pile up receipts till I can't even handle it anymore and what even is this and then Yeah, what I tell you I have literally just receipts laying everywhere in my room But yeah, this is not gonna work for the rest of today. I need to get cleaning like really bad but before i do i'm going to be talking about the sponsor of today's video and it's going to help me clean my room if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you would know that i am obsessed with just shopping i probably go to the mall like once, once sometimes, sometimes twice, twice, a, twice week. a week i know it's insane but as we saw the receipts in my room are just piling up so the first step i'm going to use to clean my room is organizing these babies so i'm going to use cam scanner to organize all my receipts from all my different stores i shop at that way if i want to return something i know exactly where to find my receipt and it's actually really easy to use shall i show you so with cam scanner all i need to do is scan my receipt right when i get it and i can organize it into categories that way i never lose these lately this has been so useful for me because I lose everything and obviously I end up buying things that just aren't needed or I end up not liking them. So having a way to return is a must, especially if the store doesn't take returns by card. So not only am I going to have clean floors and clean surfaces, but I'm also going to have an organized way of shopping and returning. And it is actually life saving. Life -saving. Don't forget, spring is also time for tax returns, so you can store all your documents and bills all thanks to Cam Scanner. So get your hands on this app, it is free to download in the app store and you need it if you're a shopaholic like me. Okay, so let's actually start cleaning my room. soon i promise this is like overwhelming to another level
Little update on time. It is currently 6.35. My mom's making dinner right now and it's probably going to be ready around 7.15. So I thought it would be perfect timing to do a little Pilates workout. I haven't worked out all day. I was planning on going to a gym class today at 7. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be working out that way. Plus I normally go with my mom and I'm like kind of terrified of going alone. I'm just drinking my greens currently because I've actually... And I've actually been noticing a huge difference with them. I literally use this as like a pre-workout. Like I'll drink this right before a workout and it makes me feel so good. But I would say overall the self-care day has been pretty successful. <laughs> Time check, it is 11.25. It's probably not the best time to be doing this considering I am gonna go to school tomorrow. I feel like I've just been like stripping my skin and it just feels so incredibly dry. So we need this. We have all my skincare right here. I brought it in from my bathroom because I like my room set up better. And all these products I literally swear by. And I'm gonna start off with this Tula eye balm because this stuff brightens your under eye balms for the morning. It's basically my eye cream pretty much. I literally am in love with it. It just lasts like a lifetime on your eyes and you wake up with like no bags. As you can see, it's very brightening. This is from Tula. Did I say that? Just go get this. It's so good. I'm going to do a face mask. I haven't done a face mask in a fat minute. I think like since November and I'm in need of a hydrating one. I had these like other charcoal ones I used in November, but they literally expired in 2021. So I found these. There's no expiration date from what I can tell. And all the ingredients look pretty good. Now I'm one for good ingredients. And Garnier is a trusted brand. But first, skincare headband. I find these so cute. Like if I could do like my skincare like this every single day, I would, I would. Um. We'll see if it makes me break out. So when I say I trust all these products, this is the one thing I don't know about. Oh, it's dripping. What in the world is this? Ooh, this actually kind of goes on nice. I look a little cray cray though. I'll be back in 20 minutes when this is done. Alexa, stop. Okay, we're back. Do I look moisturized, hydrated? I'm just gonna like rub this into my skin because that's what it always says to do. I've always been scared to do this though because like this is the part where like you're going all for it. Like you're saying it's okay if I break out. It's not okay. We do it for the mental health. And because if it does make me break out, it still has hydrating properties, you know? I literally shaved my armpits and my legs in the shower. I'm as soft as a baby right now. Now we're gonna do my everyday skincare. I think I've said part of my skincare routine on like my night routine i think or something but we're gonna be doing it again this is just the uncommon beauty eye cream it is so soothing but also stops under eye bags just like the tula together this stuff works wonders and you don't need a lot either which is super nice so there's that and before i do my daily moisturizer i'm gonna do a few other things i trust this product with my life i got this in a fabfit fun box and this is the tula brightening vitamin c drops slash serum and i 
really like how this makes my face look in the morning. I feel like I'm glowing. And this stuff feels really soft on your face too. I think it's either this or this next serum I'm going to use. That is making my skin flawless recently. Like I don't have any discoloring. But this is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marcula Luxury Face Oil. The fact that they call it luxury just makes me feel luxury. I just realized the sliding is so much better. But this stuff feels so greasy on your face. I actually kind of hate the way it feels. They say it doesn't leave any greasiness literally on the packaging. Don't be fooled. It does. So this is the one thing I'll say isn't worth the price, but it also still feels really good on your skin. Are you seeing this glow? It just makes my skin's like natural color really shine. If you couldn't tell, today is like my ultimate once a week skincare hydration because both of these are very hydrating. I feel dead skin coming off my face. It's mm, proves that the face mask had some chemicals in there. Oh well. Another thing that I think has been really helping my upper bumps on my forehead is clindamycin. I got this prescribed by my dermatologist a while ago and she said to only use it when you're breaking out and that you don't need a lot of it but I started just using it on my forehead and like this stuff just went away. Obviously it comes and goes but I think just keeping this stuff on on the daily is really helpful. So if you have acne in general this is really good. So now the last thing I'm going to use on my face is my daily moisturizer. This is the uncommon beauty daily water cream i love 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 this stuff mainly because it is so light but also that it is so freaking hydrating it is perfect on top of everything that i just put on my face it feels so nice i feel like it's just trapping everything in my skin in like the best way possible and the ingredients 10 out of 10. And now my skincare is done, but we're gonna try out one new product. I also got this in a FabFitFun box, and this is an overnight lip mask, and it's in the birthday cake scent. It kind of looks like the Laneige packaging. It smells good, but the texture is like really weird. It's like jelly. Ugh. It does not feel good. I think it's time to go to bed. It is 12.01, so it has been a long, productive day, and I'm very proud of myself for getting things done. You should be proud, too. I love you all so much, and thanks for watching.